Now, there are quite a few videos on on YouTube that are, are incorrect, they're misleading. They uh, say they've, uh, they've got black locust trees and they're calling them honey locusts. Now, this is a black locust, a golden rubinia. It's the golden variety of black lotus, but you notice, not black lotus, <laughs> black locust, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, you'll notice that all black locust trees, all rubinia trees, have this wisteria type of white blossom. Or you can get the pink wisteria trees too, they're a type of rubinia, and again they have uh, the same wisteria type blossom. That's the way of identifying the blossoms of a black locust. This is a golden rubinia and it appears to be thornless. So while there are honey locust trees that are thornless, there are also uh, black locust trees that are thornless. Now there are even nurseries on YouTube, advertising on YouTube, that are calling uh, black locust trees honey locusts. This is a golden rubinia. It is a type of black locust, but it is not a honey locust, and the pods are actually poison. The pods are poison, so if you were to eat the locusts on this tree, you would be poisoned. Honey locusts and black locusts are not the same. This is a black locust, a golden rubinia, and it appears to be a thornless one. So let's go now and look at some more rubinias and glodizias. Now this is a genuine uh, black locust, the uh, rubinia pseudoacacia. It's got the distinctive uh, wisteria type uh, flowers on it. So it has flowers just like a wisteria and it's got thorns, two quite vicious thorns. I don't know if you can see them, it's got the double thorns, two thorns there, sort of double thorn affair. They're very vicious and they can get quite large. Can you see them here? Ah, oh, they're quite vicious, quite vicious things. also known as black locust and this is the type with thorns it's got vicious thorns on it vicious thorns and the pods are poison they're black and they're smaller too than the uh, honey locust this is not a honey locust it is a black locust they are not to be confused now this is a true honey locust, a Gladitia triacanthos, triacanthos. It is a thornless one though. It doesn't have any thorns. Some Gladitias, honey locusts, don't have thorns. Some Rubinias don't have thorns. You can see too that the Gladitia has a big long pod, a big long brown pod, very long. The Rubinia has, there aren't any in, on the trees at the moment, but the Rubinia has just a little small black pod and the seeds of the Rubinia are poison. The seeds of the honey locust are edible. Let's just look now at the honey locust flowers. They're little uh, things. They're not quite open yet, but this is this is them, or this is they. <laughs> this is the little honey locust flowers. This is what they what they look like. Look how small they are. They have uh, they don't get much bigger than this. They don't have the big distinct uh, wisteria type uh, shaped flowers of the uh, black locust. This is a honey locust and the beans are honey sweet and edible and the flowers are quite distinct, quite different. They don't look like the white wisteria. They don't open up into pea-like flowers. It's a member of the pea family, yes, but it only has these little sort of insignificant flowers. I don't, I'm not a botanist, I don't know if they're called racemes or catkins or what, but this is what they look like. This is a honey locust flower, not to be confused with rubinias. And you can get golden gladitias too while I think of it. Yes, with golden leaves. This one is an anermis, it is thornless. So not all gladitias have thorns. And there's some flowers on the trunk as well. I hope you can hear me okay with this wind. This is a genuine black locust tree, Rubinia pseudoacacia. This one doesn't seem to have, oh, it's got a few thorns up the top, a few small, small thorns way up the top there. But as you can see, it's covered in the distinct wisteria-shaped flowers. 
and when it has beans, they will be poison beans. They're just small little... Can I see any beans here anywhere? Um, no, but they're only small and they're black. They're small black beans. And they're poison. Note that wisteria are... Yes, note the wisteria type flowers of the black locust. That's the way you can tell the trees. You'll find that a lot of uh, nurseries and people on YouTube, I repeat this, are saying, are calling their black locust honey locust. This is not a honey locust. It is a black locust. Black locusts are poison. Honey locusts are edible. I won't talk about uh, the blossoms as edible or not. That's uh, for another subject. And while I'm here, look, there's an old bird's nest in this tree. Isn't it beautiful? Now, I hope it's focused enough. This is a gladitzia, a genuine gladitzia honey locust tree. You can see the small blossoms and you can see the thorns. The thorns is called gladitzia triacanthos, triacanthos because the thorn has two little smaller thorns coming off the edge. That's why it's called triacanthos. I think canthos means thorn or nail or something. It's got three thorns, the one big one, and the two little thorns coming off. With it's your triacanthos, the true honey locust, and the pods are edible. And this one's in bloom. And the thorns are quite vicious. Look how big they are. They used to be used as nails in the old days. There are the thorns, how huge they are. That's a Gladitzia thorn. Listen. Huge. Huge, vicious thorns that could blind an eye or strike you in the jugular vein when you're mowing the lawn. Very dangerous.